morning my babbers. So we're on the bank again. We're down at Viaduct in Somerton. Uh, rods have been in the water probably about 20 minutes. I've lost two fish already so um, got the rod back out. We're gonna have a little look uh, and see what we can change because I'm not here to drop fish today. Um, we're here to I'm getting liners now. We're here to uh, get some fish for, for you guys. So <coughs> fishing with my neighbour Brian and my friend Steve today. And uh, in a minute we'll do some introductions. But yeah, that's what that's where we are. That's what we're doing. So hopefully we'll have a few fish for you. Happy days. <coughs> There we go guys, fish number one, 13 pound six, and that was taken on a German rig with a pineapple tiger wafter. So really glad to get this one. We've been here sort of just over an hour and uh, I've dropped two fish. So when this one went off, I was more than determined to uh, make sure this one went over the cord of the landing net. So yeah, really chuffed. Gonna uh, get a new rig on, get a new uh, PVA stick on, and get back out on that spot because uh, with any luck, there's a few more fish come today. So there we go. Happy days. Right, my babbers. So quick update. It's about ten o'clock now. Um, so I've had one carp, one bream. Steve's had one bream, Brian's had a couple of beeps, um, still plenty of time left yet. So I've still got one one on the bottom with the uh, pineapple tiger wafter, but I've seen a few fish milling around so uh, I've soaked some foam in the pineapple tiger slime and I've stuck on a Carp to Bank UK Ziggler liner kit. Uh, and I've got the zig at the minute mid water but I'm seeing some fish closer to the island so looks like I'm gonna be moving that uh, see if I can't get it a little bit closer to to where I'm seeing the fish so so yeah that's where we are hopefully more fish to come but we'll soon find out happy days right my babbers <laughs> happy days so after uh, what seems like a wait forever and only a couple of beeps really Brian's rod absolutely tore off and here's the result an absolutely stunning 18 pound common so to say like that like that first bite of the day <laughs> <laughs> so without further ado we're gonna get some rods back out I might that's come off the bottom as well hasn't it so uh, I'm not too sure what to do with me zig now I'm gonna stick with it for another hour right let's get this beast back and uh, let's get another one. Nice well done Bri. Well done mate. What an amazing fish. Well done buddy. Happy day. Here we go guys. So after uh, a little bit lively. quite a wait for Steve. And a couple of bream. The man has uh, gone and produced this. Year. First carp this year. What a, what a stunner. Uh, what was it? Twelve pound. <laughs> <laughs> no, fourteen pound eight. So just over a pound bigger than mine. What an absolute peach. Hell of a fight as well. And that yes. was just taking line for what seemed like forever. That's brilliant. Well done, Steve. Cheers. Happy days. There we go guys, fish number two, 14 pound on the nose. So, I mean, they're getting bigger, but at this rate, you're gonna have to catch a fair few to get close to what these two fuckers have got, so. <laughs> but no, I'm well happy with that. Absolutely tore off. Again, on the uh, pineapple tiger wafter on a German rig, with just a uh, mesh bag of the pineapple tiger pellet. So yeah, I'm gonna slip this one back get the rod back out and uh, hopefully nick another one. Happy days! Right, there we go guys. 
absolute cracking linear for uh, Brian. What was it? Ten and, ten and a half. half yeah. Ten and a half pound. So uh, it's been quite a slow day considering the venue. It's starting to pick up a little bit. But uh, yeah, we've had. Nice. Yeah. It's that five bites now in the last sort of hour. 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 Yeah. So we got plenty more time to go. It's, it's not even one o'clock yet. Okay. So we're making it sound like we've been here for days. Feels like we have. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, guys. Hopefully we'll uh, we'll have a few more for you. Well done, Bry. Cheers. Smashing fish. Right, guys, got a uh, something a little special in the uh, in the cradle now. It's gonna take all my strength to uh, to get her up. Just uh... <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. Me. Fish number three. Fantastic looking fish, to be fair. Just yeah. about nice twenty pound lighter than I'd like it to be. Deceivingly, it is six pounds, so that puts me overall weight. Well, it's, a, it's an extra three pound heavier than you think, uh, anyway. <laughs> and I've just won three quid, so <laughs> happy days. <laughs> I like it when the fins come up. Yeah. It looks smart, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that, yeah. Is that number four? Ah, oh, he's got his fins up as well. There we go, guys. Another lovely uh, mirror. Uh, Eight pound, 14 ounces. That puts me on four fish and most total weight so far. Yeah. But uh, biggest fish still goes to Brian yeah. at the minute. <laughs> Although if I keep if I, if I keep wading through these, who knows? So I ain't gonna fanny about. I'm gonna get this back, get the rod back out, see if we can't get another one. Happy days! Here we go, guys. Fish number three for Brock. Oh! Let me put my hand in his mouth. There we go. Fish number three for Brian. <laughs> He's lively. Right. Happy days. Happy what days. What was it? Twelve pound. Twelve pound free. Twelve pound free. So it's starting to pick up a bit now. So. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Few, Steve's few got a bream. That. That's that's in the fridge. That's <laughs> Right, we'll uh, we'll get this fish back because uh, he had a bit of an occurrence on the other rod that he yeah, needs to check. check that. So nice. What well up, mate? Good, right, my babbers. So quick update. Uh, we've had quite a few fish now. I think I've had five, lost three. Brian's had four. Steve's had one, um, and more bream than we could shake a stick at. It seems that when it goes slightly overcast, even if it's only for sort of five, ten minutes, that's when the activity comes. So it's currently just about to go overcast. So with any luck, we've still got a bit of time left. So I think genuinely it's going to kick off in a minute. So what I've done now is I've given the zig a rest because I just had two, two or three fish in quick succession. Uh, all from the same spot, so I've got both rods about three foot apart on that spot, and I've chucked a bit of uh, a bit of bait over the top. I say a bit of bait. I've, what I've done is made baggies and thrown them over, so they get used to seeing small piles of bait. Um, there's a no boily as feed rule, but you're allowed them on the. You're allowed anything on your hook, so. Sorry, there was a, a small bump under the tree where where I'm fishing. I'll show you the spot where I'm fishing now, actually. Um, and like I said, I've got both rods on it. So, fingers crossed, it'll kick off again in a minute. Right, so, I have both my rods. Just trying to find my finger. Under this willow here. One is real close to the bank. Um, when I say real close... Um, I mean, it's it sort of landed six inches. It must have been. Uh, so I'm reasonably happy with that, and I'm confident at some point that rod's going to go. And the other rod is probably two foot, 
It, well, it's where I'll try to show you again. So where that branch just overhangs. So it's just there. So yeah, they're probably about two or three foot apart. Like I said, I'm fishing all well both rods on that one spot because that's where all the bites have come from. So hopefully we can build up a a small hit of fish in the next sort of couple of hours. So yeah, that's where we are at the minute. Gonna leave you there for now. <laughs> oh, there we go guys can't remember if it's five or six now um, I think it's five uh, 16 pound on the nose again on the German rig made with the Carpet Bank UK products and a pineapple tiger wafter with a small mesh stick of the matching pellet in six mil so I'm going to get this back because uh, there's still time for more this is two pounds shy of the top fish of the day, so happy days! <laughs> yeah. Here we go, guys. Brian with another fish. Another one. Putting pounds on the board. Believe it or not, that's eight pound. Nice scale pattern on him. It's lovely, isn't it? So, uh, looks like it's going to kick off now. Well, fingers crossed. So, we're going to get this one back, get Rod's back out, and hopefully grab a few more. Fingers crossed. Happy days. Happy days. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. There we are, guys. It's like king of the mirrors, isn't you, today? Um, I love yeah. it, mate. So, uh, I don't have any comments, actually, I don't no. think you have. No. I think you've all had all mirrors. Right about eight pound. Um, we've had a bit of an issue with the scales today, but which luckily I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're gonna, yeah, get them re, re zeroed and uh, get the rods back out. Well, he's gonna have to retie his rod because <laughs> you just snapped <laughs> on, on purpose. That's gonna take me another five minutes. To do that. <laughs> So, yeah, we'll get this one back out and uh, hopefully see if we can snatch you some more. Happy days! Happy days! <laughs> there we go, guys, another one. Not going to keep this one here for too long because Brian's playing a fish at the minute. And uh, this one's a bit lively. So I'm going to quickly get this one back, get Rod sorted, because we are pretty close, uh, even in total weight-wise. So. I need to capitalise and uh, get some more rigs in the water. Go on! There we go guys, never fish for Brian. It's 16 pound and a half, was it? 16 and a half. Which puts him Oh. 17 uh, that puts him 18 pound ahead so and we're literally packing down now so it's a nice fish that is a nice fish it's like a cricket bat isn't it yes. long lean hard fighting fish nice. lucky for brian that uh i was stood quite close to his rods because he was stood at the bin <laughs> rummaging i should have just should have just let it run really but i'm not like that yeah thanks mate <laughs> I have snapped him off twice. So. <laughs> right. and, it's, and it's on camera. And it's, yeah. <laughs> right, guys, Lovely. I'm going to go so we can uh, see if we can get back to uh, see if I can nick a 20 pounder I need now, really, ideally. Happy, Happy days. days. <laughs> right, guys, that's us all packed up, ready to go. Congratulations to Brian who beat me on total weight by 18 pounds, which ironically was the biggest fish of the day. <laughs> 18 yeah, pounds as well, so yeah. if you hadn't have had that one to start with, it would have been a lot closer. Extremely. But no, we pretty much matched each other fish for fish up until that last, that last point, didn't we? So, yeah. King of the Bream, 
got himself a cart, so <laughs> he's well chuffed. So uh, we'll be definitely doing this again soon. So until next time, take it steady. Ta-da! Cheers.